Hey guys, today I will be making a Halloween wall decoration using this time not paper clay but female air drying clay. So you see that I'm using my carnival mask as a mold and I'm tracing the eye sockets and cheekbones. I do want to say that I'm an amateur sculpture and I'm trying to figure out how to do it while I'm making the skull, but overall I can say that I'm very happy with it for my first time using real clay. Now I'm only doing the top half of the skull and later the lower jaw, simply because I don't have the space for it. So now, as you can see, some mistakes were made. First, I should have covered my mask with some plastic foil, because the clay has stuck to the mask. And second, I should not have put my sculpture into a hot room, for it turned out that by doing that, the clay will not dry evenly, which will make cracks appear. And seeing that it got stuck, I will could take it off in pieces.
At first I did not know what to do, and after a while after using super glue that did not work, I thought of using speckling paste by first making a layer of the skull form with paper mache so that it can support the broken pieces and it will help keep it together. Now what happened to the skull, I will see this as a happy accident, because the cracks on the skull I found make it a lot more realistic, but not so much for my mask, but I can still use it, and now after covering it with some plastic wrap, I will now start with the lower jaw, making sure to use the top half as a guide, so that I don't make it too big or too little. And once it dried on room temperature, I saw this as an improvement for there were no cracks to be seen. Now it's time for the base. What I have planned is that a vampire skull must look very old and forgotten. I thought of making it in a way that resembled dinosaur bones that are being uncovered from rocks, but I wanted to add a cross to give it a little bit of a backstory, using my favorite way by using cardboard and paper mache. And I think everyone can make a cross, so I will not explain a lot, but as you can see, I will be covering the side with masking tape instead of paper mache to save some time. Then afterwards I will be using toilet paper so that the speckling paste mixed with PVA glue will stick better on the cross and make it look like real old wood.
Once dried, I can now paint the cross. The reason that I'm painting it now because now will be the only time that I would have easy access on it. Once I glue the skull on it, it will be too difficult to paint. So here I am trying to make a white cross that has lots of dirt on it, using light brown, then making it dirty with black paint mixed with a lot of water and wiping it away so that the base color would still be visible. And after that, I'm dry brushing white paint. I did not really got the look that I was looking for, but in the end, I can't complain. We're almost at the finish line. To make the rock texture, I'm mixing my paper clay using cardboard from egg containers, white PVA glue, black paint and a powder form of speckling paste. And I will apply it on the back of the skull around the cross using it in the form of glue and then shape it into rocks that you can find in black caves. I do think that I've used too much paint because it took a few days for it to completely dry. By the way, I would recommend using gloves if you have them because it was very hard to wash off. Now for the finishing touches. I will make the skull look dirty using brown paint mixed with a lot of water and after that with black. And then to make the rock a little bit more realistic, I will dry brush them with grey and white paint.
And there you have it, the finished piece. I have to be honest, I thought this will be a quick project, but it took quite a while to make, mostly because of the drying time of every project that I used, but overall, despite the many mistakes, I'm very happy with this. So I hope you enjoyed watching, and if so, I hope you end up sticking around for more videos. Until then, 